guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the Aloha State. And a big hurricane has been headed toward Hawaii, just recently got downgraded to a tropical storm. I was actually supposed to post this video earlier this week but I've just spent all week grabbing a bottle of water, toilet paper, all that kind of stuff, all the hurricane necessities and so finally have time to sit down and edit this video. If you guys haven't watched part one already, go ahead and click the link right above here in this card and it'll take you right there where we actually go ahead and shoot this fish. So now I'm cleaning it right now and we're gonna be jumping right into all the ingredients and how to cook one of my favorite fish recipes. So these are the ingredients you guys are gonna need. Just went to the grocery store. You guys are gonna need ginger, garlic, green onions, bok choy, kai choy, I don't, um, Chinese lettuce, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, you guys need shoyu, oyster sauce, a little bit of mayonnaise, and peanut oil right there. You guys are also going to need some brown sugar. I should have that somewhere in here. And also um, some salt and pepper just to get that extra flavor. Now I'll put the uhu right here. I caught this, you guys seen earlier in the video. I'm gonna go ahead and cut slits right here and then we're gonna go and stuff it and do all that good stuff. So we got the ginger, just went ahead and peeled it. Now we're just gonna cut this down, little slits like that. So now I'm gonna cut slits inside of the fish itself. Just so that it can absorb all the sauce and everything. And I'll let it cook a little more even as well. And let's go ahead and stuff the ginger inside of the fish's cavity, just like this. And the rest of the ginger I'm just going to put around the fish, give it that extra flavor. So now we're going to do is make our sauce. I got some oyster sauce, show you, and I'm going to mix in a little bit of brown sugar. Uh, you guys can also put sesame oil. So you're just going to add it to flavor. Doesn't matter which one you put first. Put kind of a lot of oyster sauce there. I'm gonna try to balance it out with some shoyu. Get some brown sugar in here. And you can use a whisk. I mean, I'll just probably use this spoon. And you just make enough until you guys are satisfied. Again, you guys can use sesame oil, but I just forgot to get it. Let's try that right there. Coming out pretty good. I may just add a little bit more brown sugar. Just run like this big chunk right here. You know what, I kinda want a lot of sauce because we're gonna be baking this opposed to steaming it. So I wanna get some more moisture out of it when I do bake it. So normally I would just have this sauce right here and after the fish is done steaming with the ginger, I would pour the sauce on top and then we'll put the rest of the vegetables on afterwards. But because we're gonna bake it, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this sauce with some mayonnaise. So we'll see how that comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some big spoonfuls of mayonnaise inside of the sauce, just like this. You guys can see that. And that's gonna kinda bring a lot of that moisture out of the fish. Hopefully, I've never tried this before, but that's what I'm hoping. So I have my whisk right here. Gonna mix it up. Now I got my mayonnaise, oyster sauce, shoyu, brown sugar, all in one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this on top of the fish, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and bake it. So I just threw the fish in the oven. I'm gonna let it go for about half an hour, 45 minutes, or until um, it's sufficiently cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this bok choy right here. So you can get bok choy, kai choy, choy sum, whatever. I don't know, there's a bunch of different variants, but they all will do just fine at this recipe.
Now, got a little bit of olive oil in here. Just gotta throw all the vegetables inside, the bok choy. And then I cut up a bunch of garlic as well. You don't need to put a lot of oil because there's gonna be a lot of water coming out of the bok choy and the vegetables. So you're just gonna go ahead and mix all that up together. Just wait till the vegetables kind of wither and then you guys can go ahead and put this on the side and wait until the fish is done cooking. So we'll go ahead and check on the fish right now. Let's take a look at it. Looking still pretty, pretty raw there. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and fry this fish up. We're gonna get some garlic salt, some Hawaiian salt back here. And then we're also gonna put some pepper. So I'm gonna fry this up. Once it's gonna start curling up, I'm gonna flip it over. All right, I just flipped that one over. This is how you tell if the fish is cooked. Stick your fork inside, peel it a little bit. It goes all the way to the bone, and you're good to go. After you add all the vegetables, the ginger, go ahead and heat up the peanut oil. Now that you've heated up the oil, you go ahead and take it and just flash it all over. 